has been far too long since I've played this video game. Far too long. Far too long. Everybody, people at home, welcome to Stardew Valley. It has been a hot minute since I've played Stardew Valley. I think the last time I played this game was maybe seven or eight months ago, probably. Um, in case you guys didn't know, this is the game that basically started my relationship with Alicia and how me and her became boyfriend and girlfriend. So this game is a big one at home for me. But uh, I decided that with the new update that had just come out, I wanted to try it out. And instead of just playing it on my own time, I thought, hey, you know, this is something I could do for you guys and, you know, have something a little extra uh, on the side between role plays. So, we can start a Stardew Valley adventure with the brand new update. Now, there's a lot of new stuff in here, so I'm gonna have to look through this. Uh, oh, you got two different cats and dogs. Cute. Like I said, it's been a really long time since I played this, so I really don't remember much. Um, I do want to try the new farm, because there is a beach farm. And for those of you who have never played this game, you're in for a trip, because this game is awesome. It's a very cute game, very fun, and it's definitely up there as one of my favorite video games that I've ever played. Um, so I'm going to need a minute while I figure out what I want to do here, and then we'll be back. All right, well, we are back. I have finished creating myself. I'm actually creating me, like IRL me, so... The only thing that's missing is glasses, but you sadly can't have, like, two accessories. You can only have, like, a beard or glasses. You can't have both. So, normally outside of this, I wear glasses, like, 24-7. Uh, but luckily, when it comes to computers, I can see. But yeah, we are done. I think I'm gonna go with a dog, because I never, ever have had a dog in my life. Um, that's because I'm allergic. So this is usually the type of game where I can be like, yeah, this is it. So I think this is a German Shepherd or something close to it. Um, so I'm going to choose that. I did mess around with these new settings, because there are new settings with this update. Um, I chose the Community Center Bundle Remixed, which I think just, like, randomizes it. So it should be interesting. Normal mining rewards, normal profits, everything else is normal. And then if you want the seed, it's 42. Easy enough. Let's go. And uh, I'm going to go through some stuff pretty slowly for you guys, in case you've never seen the game before. All right. Time to cry, right in the beginning. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have the sealed envelope. He's got a, is that a machete? Oh God, he threw the ladder. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life, like the mouse on the word life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Is everyone crying yet? When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. XX years later, we will see where we are going. Also, you're getting sexy, Mitchell, today because I just took a shower. So, deal with that as you may. <laughs> We're at Joja. We got some people working on stuff. We got Woody. He's working. Someone got terminated. That sucks. Uh, and there I am. Look at me, snoozing. Oh, there's someone dead. That's a yikes. Life's better with Joja. Let's see here. Let's me open up my file cabinet. Grab that letter from main grandpa. Yeah, Mitchell. If you're reading this, I, I can't keep a straight grandfather voice. So uh, prepare for some voices to be mixed up. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Crazy Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. 
it's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Alright. I'll make sure to do that, Grandpa. I got you. <laughs> so I'm actually pretty excited for this new update. I've played this game a billion times. And I, I, I know most part what I'm doing. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played it. But I know what I'm doing for the most part. Um... And I'm very curious to meet some of the new NPCs. There's a few new ones. There's a bunch of new, like, fish and combat. There's, like, a new island. There's, like, so many new things added. There's some new, like, animals. So I'm very excited to try it out and see uh, what'll happen in Stardew Valley this time around. We will see. What is installed? Oh, God. It's the bus. Bye, bus. All right. Hello. You must be Mitchell. I am Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do voices. I will most likely forget half of the characters' voices, so just eh, keep that in mind. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. I don't know why I gave Robin such a pretty voice. <laughs> I would say so myself. Wow, look at this new farm, holy crap. Look at this place. Look, I even got, I even got a, I even got a, uh, oh god, what do you call it? <laughs> I don't even know what it's called. My brain just totally forgot what it's called. But what I'm wearing, I, ma I made that, so I'm ready for my farming life. This is Crazy Farm. Whoa! This place is a mess! What's the matter? Sir, so it's a, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, You'll have it cleaned up in no time. I don't know what... I don't know. Robin's voice is going to constantly change. I'm really bad at keeping the same voice going. Especially when it's not my own voice. And it's not a voice I'd normally do. So Robin, you're, you're a little screwed here. And here we are. Your new home. Oh, God! <laughs> it's Mary Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. I don't know why I gave him that voice. But okay, let's go with it. Welcome. I'm Lewis. Mayor of Pelican Town. You know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a deal. Big deal, actually. Not a deal. Quite big. Look at this place. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Eh, could be better, but eh, I mean, standing. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. Don't listen to her, Mitchell. She'll just try. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of our house upgrades. I gasped. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Goodbye. I, I didn't even say bye, I'm just leaving. God, this place is a mess. Oh, I haven't forgot. If you have anything to sell, you'll just place it in this box here. This box, right here. Where my mouse is, right there, right there. There it is. Good. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Later. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Robin's voice is just a constantly swap between like, like a British woman and just like normal, normal high-pitched girl voice. All right, it's been a hot minute. What's up, Stardew? How's it going? I got parsnip seeds. Now I'm very curious to see this farm because, uh, my God, it's a beach. Uh, whoops, I picked up my TV. Let's talk to the fortune teller. Let's see, it's a neutral day. Okay. So apparently now you can pick up your bed too. Hey, you can move your bed now. God, so many things have changed. Also, I'm rocking the, the Hamilton shirt today, so, uh, ayo. <laughs> Represent the Hamilton stuff. But yeah, my god, this place is... Oh, Jesus. Alright, well, uh... I'll go this way. So... Okay, I'm just gonna go through. So... I have to try and get to where my soil is. I have no clue where it is. 
I don't think I can plant on the sand, so I gotta get to the grass. There we go, there's some grass. There's a little fishing pond. We actually have a lot of places to fish, funny enough. Um, so this is like a place where we can kind of plant stuff. Not too many things, but some things. This is more or less for like foraging and fishing, which personally I do a lot of. I do a lot more of that than farming. Um, so this kind of works in my favor that I like doing that a bit more, but I'm very curious to see how this place would work. Um, here's some more soil to plant some stuff. Not much, but a bit. And if we go a little more south, um, we have a little dock that we could fish off of, which is cute. And let's see. This looks like a broken crate of some sort. Uh, more sand. <laughs> Lots of sand. Uh, oh, there's a little cherry blossom tree. Cute. Nice. Okay. Getting started. Cultivate and harvest the parsnip. And meet greet people. Now, there is a new NPC. I don't know if they live in the town, but I really hope they do because I would love to meet this new NPC. Um, their name is Leo. I don't know if they're like a like a person, like a villager or, or something else. Yeah, even the map got updated a bit too. Cool. Robin, Demetrius. Oh, Sebastian, my boy. Sebastian's my boy. There's a lot. Wow, look at the map. They really updated it. Look at this place. This looks great. I am wasting lots of potential time I could be doing uh, doing stuff. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to plant my parsnips. I'm going to plant as many as I can. Looks like the issue here is going to be we're going to need an axe. We're going to need to upgrade our axe first because we're not going to be able to break half of this stuff. And we're going to need room because uh, we're going to have to plant some stuff. So... Let us begin our adventure. We got one, two, three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. Perfect, we have enough room. We're gonna need some scarecrows. We're gonna need a lot of stuff here, right? Also, what do you guys think about me doing uh, face cam? I I'm curious because I never really do it, um, but I figured for something like this, uh, it would be more fun and more interactive to see my facial expressions. Um, I'm usually not one for doing webcam for a lot of things, just because I feel like it takes away from the video game. But since this video game is so calm and just relaxing, um, I was curious about doing it and I just winged it and did it. So let me know and uh, we'll go from there and see if you want me to do more face cam. Um, let us water our stuff and then we're gonna go into the village and see. Um, I could look up exactly like what Leo looks like, but I don't want to because I want to have like that first impression, you know what I mean? Um, there's some other couple of new NPCs I've heard as well, like some side ones. So I don't want to spoil myself. And I just want to kind of like introduce and see what they are and what they look like, how they act. I'm very curious. Um, and I heard that from Concerned Ape, the creator of the game, that they have their own like storyline and backstory and all this fun stuff. So very curious to see it. And I'm gonna go into town. Now, the beach map, like I said, like the beach farm, should be very interesting because there's a lot more, like right right off the back, what I noticed was there is like no room for soil at all. So we're gonna have to start getting animals like quickly. Um, now getting animals is a little difficult right off the back. I mean, I could get chickens, but like cows and sheep and stuff like that's gonna be a little more harder, especially like dinosaurs. Um, I used to love having dinosaurs in this, uh, especially on the world that me and Alicia played on. I had, like, a literal just coop of just dinosaurs, because I was a bit of a fiend. Um, but let's talk to Gus. Hi, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. All right. Um, I, I will most likely have names that repeat themselves. I mean, names. Voices. Uh, so Mary Lewis's birthday is at the end of the week. We have Haley's birthday. We have Vincent's, Pam's, Shane, another one of my favorites from this, Pierre, and Emily's. And then we also have the Egg Festival and the Flower Dance coming up. So we got a lot of stuff to do. Now, Leo. Is, is Leo in the town? I really do want to kind of just look it up on, like, the NPC thing and see. Um, but I'm going to go talk to the peeps over here first. Go to the museum and talk to the guy. I can't remember his name, actually. What is your name? Gunther, that's your name. <laughs> Howdy there. <laughs> Welcome to Stardew Valley's Archaeological Office. Um, it's a little embarrassing. 
but previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. If you find any artifacts or materials out there, would you let me know? Sure thing, Gunther, I got you. Um, that was the one thing I think I've never done in this game, was fill up that museum. We were like two or three artifacts, like, close to finishing it. Um, and then we've got Clint. Um, hey, I'm, I'm Clint. And that's, uh, I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need, like, tools, like, let me know. Okay. Thank you, Clint. He's a, li he's a little shy. He's a bit of a shy guy. All right. My... I can't, I can't contain myself anymore. I need to check. Oh, shoot! They have little things now! So they let you know that you've spoken to them. Nice. Let's see if we can find Leo. Leo, 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 Leo. Leo is a wizard. Shame. Oh, maybe it's not an NPC you can talk to. Interesting. Definitely don't see anybody new here. Hmm. I guess we'll have to wait and see if we can find this new person. I don't know how they work, so just keep that in mind. This is literally like a few hours after the update came out, so I have no clue. <laughs> but I'm very curious to see what they look like and how they act. I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go down here. Uh, oh. I'm gonna need that. Boop. Ooh, I got glass shards. I can just put those in my eyes. Uh, you found an artifact. The curator at the local museum might not know about this. Okay. I'm gonna pick this up. Maybe. Oh, I can't. Oh, my inventory's full already. Oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting. And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I am Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello, Elliot. It's nice to meet you, too. It's been a hot minute since I've seen you. Um... Well, damn. Uh, there's not much we can do. Won't lie. I also missed. Um, we have glass shards in inventory. You know, in case we want to... I don't know what we're going to do with that, but we're going to do something with it. My back tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's not there on the first day. Um, so I guess I'll just cry and talk to people. See what's around. Forage a little bit. Little, little teleported thingies around. All the fun stuff. Yeah, I guess I'll just go talk to people. You know, I'll be sociable that I'm not in real life. And we'll just go from there. And see what's up. Also, because I'm curious. Nope, nothing in there. Oh, it's the old lady! It's Evelyn. I think your name's Evelyn. Yep. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Yes, yes. Very old. An old woman, which means I get an old lady voice. Wait, get over here. Come back. Come back! Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. That's the mother of Vincent and Sam, I think. Can't remember. And the speaking of Vincent, there he is. Oh, a stranger. <laughs> My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thanks, I appreciate that, I think. And uh, where's your brother? I don't think Sam's in here. No, he's out, he's vibing. Like I said, I'll try and do a voice for everyone, but keep in mind that I will most likely forget everyone's voice. Uh, depending on, uh, how long it's been since they're recording. Or if I just totally forget. <laughs> Trying to think of a voice for her. <laughs> this is, uh, Pierre's wife, I'm pretty sure. Hello! You must be Mitchell, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. There we go. Is that good enough? I'm putting my voice acting skills on, on display here, so I'm trying my hardest. Um, if it gets too much, I may drop voices for, like, characters, but we'll see. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I got a PhD. <laughs> and, uh, getting wrecked. <laughs> um, and then the nurse should be in there, too. But let me go talk to Pierre, actually, because I need to go buy stuff. Um, oh, it's Leah. Hello. <laughs> Howdy, hello. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> you picked a good time to move here. The spring is so lovely. I don't, I don't know what half these voices are, you know, just bear with me. Okay, um, so I could sell these, which may not be a bad idea, to be honest. Uh, you can get recipes? Okay. I, I remember, like, getting recipes. I didn't know you can get, like, grass recipes. Let's see. And there's the saplings, which we're not going to be able to afford anytime soon. Um, 
I always liked making flowers. I don't know why, but it's just always been a thing of mine. I like doing the flowers. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we can only do seven. All right, we're gonna have to make some more money because I don't want to plant these unless I have a nine, uh, three by three. So we're gonna go search for some stuff. We're gonna try and sell things. So we're gonna forge and, and see what we can find around the area. I need to go see a hello to my boy, Sebastian. In case you guys are wondering the whole story about Sebastian, because I keep mentioning him. Um, so when I play this game with Alicia, um, what I used to do all the time to her was like, because you can get married in this game, you can marry characters, and you can have fun with it, and really, it's really, it's just a great time, this game. I love this game. Um, but what I used to do all the time to her was when Sebastian would come around, I for some reason just really liked Sebastian. I don't know, he just screams me. And <laughs> before we would get married, I would constantly like, be like, I'm gonna marry Sebastian. I was like, there's nothing you can do about it. I was like, I'm marrying him. Like, he's mine. <laughs> like, so I always used to, like, flirtatiously joke with Sebastian, like, all the time when I played with her. So it was always a fun thing to do. Uh, well, what kind of voice can I do for Demetrius? Uh, damn, I don't know. I guess there's a deeper voice. I don't know. It's hard when it comes to males because I don't know. Let's see. Greetings. <laughs> I'm Demetrius, a local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. No problem, Demetrius. Um, cause I already have like three deep voices. So I'm like, how much deeper can I put my octave to, uh, to do this? Oh crap. I forgot to bring the glass shards to the museum. Ah, oh, the museum's only up till six. I gotta go. I need to get a horse. There's so many things I need to do. There is just, there's just too much to do in a short span of time. And with the lack of inventory space, that is also going to make my life a little difficult. Uh, I'm so used to having everything, but I don't have it anymore because I'm a noob now. Um, so I need to get some stuff. Oh, there's Sam! Or Alex! It's one of the, it's one of the two! It's Sam! He's the Saiyan! Hey, I'm Sam! <laughs> Good to meet you! I don't know why I keep doing that voice, but you know what? Whatever, you're gonna sound like Sonic. <laughs> it's Abigail! Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. So, you're upset that I moved in? That's not. I don't know if I should be okay with that. Hey, it's Mr. Mitchell, the, the new farmer. I'm Pierre. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Alright, well, I don't think we're gonna pack cauliflowers today. I need to get to that damn museum. Oh, but there's people. Ah! Oh. <laughs> uh, hey. <laughs> you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. I don't know. I'm just trying to give us many voices. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's so many people. Ah! <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Penny. Oh! Aren't you the one who just moved in? <laughs> I'm Aru. <laughs> I've been looking forward to meeting you. All right. My God. My throat's gonna be killing me after this session. May not do voices. <laughs> I'm already feeling the pain in my throat. <laughs> uh, since I voice act in the daily anyways. May not be a good idea, but for this episode alone, I will do this. Oh, it's a partner boy. Yeehaw. Gunther's like, dang it. <laughs> Abysmal. <laughs> not a single piece in the entire collection. But don't worry, boy. I brought these glass shards. <laughs> I brought these glass shards for you. I'm sure you'll be super ecstatic about it. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> you found some. Let me see it. Here, some pieces of glass. Might be from a pair of broken glasses, for all we know. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. <laughs> My nose. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts and materials that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Or, oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Will do. Thank you, Gunther. And there I go. Look at me walk. I walk slow. Now, I would normally skip the cutscenes, but since this is a let's play, I'm not going to. Because I already know like half these things. Alright, we're going to put the glass shards right in the front, so in case someone knocks them over, it's just not going to end well. <laughs> okay. Done. Archaeology. 250 bucks. Dang it! Pierre's closed, right? Uh, no! 
If only I brought it earlier. I could have bought more cauliflower seeds. Dang it. Okay, fine. Guess it's okay. Alright. Um, who else do we need to meet? There's a lot of people we need to meet. Um. Jeez. Oh, we didn't meet the old guy that doesn't like people. Uh, we didn't meet Shane. Sebastian. Uh, Willie we'll have to meet in a few days, and the wizard. Oh! 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 One of my favorite NPCs. I need to go talk to her. <laughs> I don't think people are gonna understand why she's one of my favorite NPCs, but she is. Out of my way, Leah! You're not the one I want to talk to! Look, it's chaos. They moo, according to Alicia. You may, may or may not know, but they moo. Oh, dang it, it's closed. Damn it. What is the... What's the time? Six. Okay. Well, in case you're running, we're one of my favorite NPCs if it's Marnie. So, I'll keep that in mind that she closes at six. Like I said, it's been a very long time since I played this game, so... There's gonna be a lot of stuff I don't remember right off the back. We might have to work on the farm a little bit tonight before we go to bed. Um, but yeah. Should be a good time. Gotta get some wood, make some, like, equipment and what's not. Now, also keep in mind, I'm not playing this for, like, massive seriousness. Like, I'm not about to go hardcore, like, making a billion things to make me money right out the back. Like, we're here to vibe. We're here to have a good time. So, that's why I'm collecting some wood. Just getting some wood. Um, okay. So, we're gonna go because it's getting a little dark. It's about 7.30 p.m. And we should probably head back to the house. I'm going to sell a few of these items. Or actually, I don't think I need to because, uh, what do you call it? Um, we have enough money for the other two cauliflowers. So, that's good. Because I know we need cauliflower. I think there was like one other item we're going to need right off the back in the beginning. So, I wanted to start those up first. And then we'll go from there. Okay. We're back on the farm. We might want to do some small work, a bit of cleaning. Some crates. I can't break those. I think one of the things it said was that, like, you can get crates that'll, like, land on the island occasionally. Or on the farm, I guess, not the island. Um, and those will give you stuff. So I'm curious to see what that does. And we'll just have to see and play it out. Um, getting some more wood. I'm gonna get, like, 20. I don't want to chop down any trees yet. Because, uh, you know. Don't want to do that. Nature. Um, let's do that. Let's mine these. Get some stone. I gotta. Oh, that's my hoe. Wrong, wrong tool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start my inventory a little bit too. Because I'm gonna be stuck with this small inventory for a little while until I make some money. Nothing. Nothing in that tree. What about this tree? Anything? I don't know why you can do that, but you can. Okay. Let's look around. Nothing over here. Nope. There's a lot of these trees. Does anyone know what trees these are? Because I think the cherry blossom trees, but I could be wrong. It could be something completely different. There's the greenhouse. Um, I wish we had a fishing rod. Oh, is that the only way we can get here? This is the greenhouse, right? Whatever. Yeah, this has got to be the greenhouse. Apparently, we can move that, too. Um, oh, and there's Grandpa again. Here for my return on the dawn of the third year. Okay, Gramps. I got it. I must wait for him until the dawn of the third year. By then, I'll probably be married, have a few kids, maybe some animals, and a life. But, you know, I digress. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to end off here. Um, just our first night in Stardew. It's been a long, long time. I hope you guys did enjoy yourselves. Um, if you did, make sure to like button down below and also subscribe. Okay, I lied. We're going to chop down a tree. <sighs> Don't look! Don't look. Don't look at the screen. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. I might have done an oopsie. Uh, this, I think I'm going to drop in there so I can pick up these things of sap because I'm going to need those. And, yeah, I think the first thing I need to do is make a, make a chest. Can, do I know how to make one right off the back? I do. I need 50 wood. I d didn't really need to sell that. Don't worry. Don't look at the tree. Don't look. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at the tree. Because if you look at the tree, it's going to fall, as you saw. Okay, let us create a chest. And then we will end it. Um, chest. Beautiful. Um, there. And bang. Pick that up. 
bang. And yeah, okay, let's put that stuff in there and we can go to bed. Let's actually color this chest while I'm at it. Let's, you know what, in the sake of Alicia, let's make it pink. All right, we're in the house. We're good to go. I'm getting a little tired. It's midnight. And that is our first night in the new Stardew Valley. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and let me know more. Um, let me also know what kind of like length you want these videos, because I could make these like decently long since days take a little while. Um, so I'm thinking anywhere between like 20 to 40 minutes, if that's cool with y'all. But we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Scrooge42, and I will see you next time. Bye!